dear visitors and subscribers, nice to meet you here again at Crazy Engine. Today I have some off topic from the main uh, line of our videos. Uh, I would like to share with you the easiest way how to extend the power output of the EcoFlow River Max power battery, which I'm using as in EPS mode as the emergency power supply for my home heating system. It's easy, fast and really gives a very reliable result. Thank you for watching. I am using uh, EcoFlow River Max mostly in the e emergency power supply mode to support my home heating system, the boiler and water pumps. Due to the fact of the constant blackouts, it is necessary to support my heating system as long as possible. Let's go to the figures. EcoFlow River Max 2 has a capacity of 512 watts. So, if my heating system consuming in average about 180 watts, my River Max will power it just for 3 hours maximum. How to extend its working time? And here is the way how. Most EcoFlow power supplies has few DC inputs for external charging and there is an input for charging from a car or from the solar battery. To connect EcoFlow to the car Eco battery we will need first of all XT60 female connector it will be connected to uh, EcoFlow station external car charge input. We will need two different colored wires with a 14 gauge at least which are able to hold 8-10 amperes current, better with silicone insulation. You will also need a pair of car battery clamps, so-called alligators. These clamps will be connected to the car echo battery terminals. You will also need 12 volt standard car battery with capacity from 40 to 70 ampere hours. Of course, it should be fully charged. If you are not familiar with the soldering, better to ask qualified technician electrician who can make this job for you. Soldering should be solid, naked wire parts should be insulated to avoid any short circuits. It could be very dangerous. So on the back side of the EcoFlow unit you can see this orange XT60 a male socket. This is car battery socket and we should simply insert our and connect it. That's it. Then we should connect our clamps to the appropriate pole of the echo battery. Minus to minus, black to minus and red to plus. You should wait a few dozens of seconds when EcoFlow is recognizing the external input. You can check right now the connection on the main EcoFlow display. Look, it's going to integrate our external battery to charge itself. EcoFlow will draw approximately 8 amperes from our car battery. Power consumption will be approximately 94, 97 uh, uh, until to uh, 100 watts. And right now, looks uh, on this place. It shows that our heating system will work for two, four and a half hours instead of two previously. You also can control these things through uh, external application. So, my dear viewers and subscribers, I uh, hope you found something uh, useful for you in this video. Uh, thank you for watching and see you soon. Have a nice day. Thank you. Bye.